writers include transitions about the sequence of events to help the readers follow along. Let's practice adding transitions that reveal time. Please have your Learn Zillion practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. Before we begin, let's review sentences. There are three types of sentences, simple, compound, and complex. A simple sentence has one subject and predicate, such as, the happy dog races to catch the ball. The subject is the happy dog. It tells who or what the sentence is about. The predicate is races to catch the ball. It tells about the subject. The happy dog races to catch the ball and his boy yells for him to return is a compound sentence, combining two simple sentences with a conjunction. While his boy yells for him to return, the happy dog races to catch the ball is a complex sentence, and that is a simple sentence with an addition to a dependent clause. Let's also review what transitions are and their purpose. When writing stories, you will use a lot of time-related transitions. Words and phrases such as, shortly after that, soon, before long, after all of that, eventually, without delay, at that very moment, next, during all of this, not a moment too soon, meanwhile, along the way, earlier, later on, an hour later, immediately, at last, later the same day, as soon as, while this was happening. All of these help the reader know when something is happening. Transitions are important. They are the glue that holds your story together. They help the reader understand how things go together. They help organize the events in the story for your reader. Here's part of a draft I've been working on. Sue arrives home from a long day at school. Of course, Liz, her best friend, tags along. They walk into a messy, loud, crazy house. There are spaghetti noodles stuck to the wall, dirty dishes everywhere, and broken plate pieces next to the table. Sue and Liz see Sue's mom standing in the middle of the kitchen and start laughing. She has wild hair, tomato sauce on her arm, and spaghetti all over her legs. She is a mess. What is going on? The girls figure out that the reason for the mess was Sue's twin brother and sister. Those two are always trying to cook. Sue's mom is cleaning up after them. I realize I haven't helped my reader completely understand when th the action is taking place. Adding transition words and phrases will help improve my draft. Let's take a look at the first two sentences. My first thought is, when is this taking place? Well, I know it's Sue's at home and I know it's after school, but I can make it clearer for my readers. What words or phrases can I add to help my reader better understand what is happening? Her day at school wasn't the best, so she's probably relieved to be at home. Which of these transitions could help bring out that sense of relief? Finally, slowly, or meanwhile? Your job is to check which transition would help the reader understand the situation the best on the practice sheet. Pause the video. When you have finished following the instructions, press play again. How did you do? Meanwhile indicates two events are happening at the same time, so this is not a good choice. Slowly would not make sense because Sue wants to be at home. So the best choice is finally. I'm going to add in this transition between the subject and the predicate. Sue finally arrives home from a long day at school. For this sentence, we need to think again, when is this taking place? Well, they're happening almost at the same time and when they arrive at the house. What words or phrases can I add to help my reader better understand what is happening? Good transitions to choose from are as soon as, the next moment, and when. Your job is to revise this sentence using one of these transitions on the practice sheet. Pause the video. When you have finished following the instructions, press play again. Let's compare our revisions. As soon as Sue and Liz see Sue's mom standing in the middle of the kitchen, they start laughing. I change the subject and half the predicate into a dependent clause to make it very clear that these two things happened almost at the same time. The girls figure out that the reason for the mess is Sue's twin brother and sister. When is this taking place? 
What words or phrases can I add to help my reader get to better understanding of what is happening? Your job is to revise this sentence to include a time transition on the practice sheet. Pause the video. When you have finished following the instructions, press play again. I used a transition to show how quickly the girls determined what was happening. Did you do that? And just like the first example, I added the transition between the subject and the predicate. I could have also included it before the subject. Where did you include it? We have another chance to combine two sentences. Those two are always trying to cook. Sue's mom is cleaning up after them. When is this taking place? Well, they are happening at the same time, so I could combine these sentences. What words or phrases can I add to help my reader get a better understanding of what is happening? Your job is to revise this sentence to include a transition on the practice sheet. Pause the video. When you have finished following the instructions, press play again. Let's compare. Those two are trying to cook while Sue's mom is cleaning up after them. I use the transition of while to show that both things are happening at the same time. Did you use something similar? Here is our revised draft. Sue finally arrives home after a long day at school. Of course, Liz, her best friend, tags along. They walk into a messy, loud, crazy house. There are spaghetti noodles stuck to the wall, dirty dishes everywhere, and broken plate pieces next to the table. When Sue and Liz see Sue's mom standing in the middle of the kitchen, they start laughing. She has wild hair, tomato sauce on her arm, and spaghetti all over her legs. She is a mess. What is going on? The girls soon figure out that the reason for the mess is Sue's twin brother and sister. Those two are trying to cook while Sue's mom is cleaning up after them. Including all the time transitions, we let the reader get a fuller picture of what is going on. Now it's your turn. Read this draft and revise it using what you've learned in this lesson. Pause the video. When you have finished following the instructions, press play again. Reread your draft and revise your writing to include time transitions. Now you know to make sure to use transitions to manage the sequence of events within your story. This will help your reader know when the action is taking place in relationship to other events.